Our Rob Olson is live at the State Fair where they're marking Veterans Appreciation Day today. And so, Rob, what's their reaction now that America's longest war is over? Well, uh, very mixed. You know, talking to a lot of veterans, uh, many of them agree on they didn't like the way that this ended in the past couple of weeks. They thought there should have been a better plan to bring Afghanistan to an end for U.S. military uh, occupation, but very uh, different ideas too about, and, and uh, hard to say what the answer is, they said, about whether we should have got a long time ago, whether we should have stayed, whether this was the right thing to do right now. It's a great event. I mean, um, getting to see all the veterans out here from World War II on up. Military Appreciation Day at the fair is part tradition, part display of gratitude, and part therapeutic for all those who served. They just want somebody to tell their story to and to share a connection. And that's what we're here to do is to share the connection. And for service organizations who help vets reintegrate to coming home, They've heard the mixed feelings of those who served in Afghanistan. Vets who feel we needed to leave and vets depressed it might have been all for nothing. They tell them it was not. And I think that's huge for all the veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan, especially as you, you might not think you made a difference, but you made a difference to somebody somewhere and that will have a ripple effect. It, in Vietnam, it took us a little longer to basically lose the war. Bob Bonesack served in Vietnam, says the Afghan airlift scenes were certainly reminiscent. The difference, he says, is that Afghanistan was lost in days instead of years. Maybe we should have learned our lesson from the Russians. You know, they got kicked out of there and yeah. stuff. No, it's, it's tough. It's tough. It's really tough. Paul Hill was in Afghanistan in 2004. Even then, he says, he wasn't sure the country would ever stand on its own. But the biggest part of our mission was to get them, you know, their, their army to defend their own nation. And we worked a lot with them, training them, fighting with them. And, you know, as soon as we left, we knew they were going to be gone. A number of veterans mentioned, you know, we still have bases in Germany, Japan, South Korea, Italy, perhaps we should have kept a military presence on a base in Afghanistan to continue to support the government that we had set up. But they also noted that those other countries, it's a friendly country, a friendly environment. This is different. So again, answers at this point, really hard to come by. Back to you.